Welcome back. Christmas Eve is two weeks away, among other things. That means it's time for holiday hoops in Osage County. The annual Lynn Basketball Tournament has brought in the season for many years. So opening tonight inside the Dome at Lynn. First round games with the host Lynn Wildcats facing the Cuba Wildcats. Jesse Wiggins goes inside to Sam Vogel. Lynn jumping out to the 14-7 lead in the first quarter. There's our referee of the night, Dan Rowling. State champion cross country runner Tyler Rush for three for Lynn. The other Wildcats though from Cuba would dominate the rest of the way. Look at that shot by Cameron Williams. Makes the basket, draws the foul. Cuba beats Lynn. It's the Wildcats over the Wildcats by 25-81 to 56. Blair Oaks and Shamoy in another opening round game. Falcons from Blair Oaks in white. The two seed Brett Voss cans the three. Blair Oaks did not give up a point in the opening quarter. Look at this nice pass. Logan backs Chandler Haxton finishes. Seth Eskins rings up three more for Blair Oaks as the Falcons win it easily 61 to 29. More first round play at the Lynn Tournament tomorrow at 6 and 7.30. The semifinals are set for Friday night. Southern Boone basketball in Ashland. The hometown Eagles coming off the Centralia Tournament Championship taking flight against the Tipton Cardinals. Southern Boone on the run. Dylan Wright to Bryce Mueller. Nice play. Nick Carlos outside to Blake Lammers. One of three three-pointers Lammers hit in the first quarter alone. Carlos underneath. He will finish up on this rebound. Matching his uniform number with 15 points. Southern Boone is 5-1, beating Tipton 61. To 41 and high school hoops in Columbia at Father Tolton. The Trailblazers welcoming Jamestown. Tolton in the home white. Ryan Chapel, three of his 15 on the night. Jamestown Eagles, Matt Hendrickson. Nice little hook in the paint for two. Josh Boyer, though, too much. Tolton, big game tonight 20 points, 11 rebounds. His fourth double double in four games. Tolton evens up at two and two on the season with a 53. To 40 victory. Other scores from the girls' side. California over Osage by 20. It was Camdenton beating Warsaw. Those at the Versailles tournament tonight. Blair Oaks beats Russellville. It was Lynn over Bell. North Calloway beats Clopton. St. James downing New Haven. St. Clair over Owensville. And Herman, for the first time this season, loses. The number one Lady Bearcats are now 6 and 1 after falling to Sullivan. College men's basketball, Columbia. Moves to 10 and 0 with a huge win over Central Christian from Moberly and it was Westminster over Coe 74 to 58. Our online voting has ended for the High V High School team of the season. We'll announce the winner tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. The top three teams eligible for the honor, not necessarily in this order. The Fatima Lady Comets volleyball team, class two state champions, the California Pinto football team conference and district champs finished 13 and one ranked third in the state in class three and the Southern Boone soccer Eagles runner up in class one in the state tournament. Honorable mention to Centralia softball, a close fourth in the voting state champs in class two softball. Again, we'll have the winner for you tomorrow night at six o'clock. As we head into the winter season, each Monday night we will feature the high school basketball play of the week brought to you by our friends at Central Methodist University. Our top play from last week from the Centralia Basketball Tournament. Hallsville's Skyler Creed, great behind the back pass to Ryan Long. That is an impressive play. And got to show you this too, same game. Final seconds, Hallsville up by two, but Sturgeon's Trenton Kalinowski hit the three-pointer. The game-winning shot bonus plays of the week brought to you by Central Methodist University.